What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Eddie. Brrr, that, 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 that. Hopefully, you're having a great day, great night. It is May 25th. 20, day, 20 days from Cinco de Mayo. 2022. So, thank you for being here. You could be anywhere in the world, but thank you for watching this. Please like, please subscribe, and make sure to leave your comments down below. So, we're going to get into the six rules of losing your virginity. Six. Six, 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 six. Rules, sex rules, the six rules. All right, so I have rule number zero. This is the ground rule, the most important rule. The most important rule. You don't have to listen to any more rules besides the first rule. Zero, rule number zero, location, location, Location. Location is the most important rule of losing your virginity or of, or of meeting a woman. You have to go to the right location and or be at the right location for you to lose your virginity and for you to have sex. All right. So, I talk about this in my book, and as the last part, I discuss looking back on my errors and my, my uh, history as a virgin, because we've all been a virgin before, we didn't just hop out of hop out of mom, and then hop into some old pussy. We didn't do that. So all of us took our time and went our own path, paths, paths to get to the pussy and become a not a virgin. <laughs> so location, location, location. In school... And this is in my book. I review how, how I had opportunities throughout school. I had opportunities when I was in elementary school. I had opportunities when I was in middle school. I had opportunities when I was in high school. Those are great locations because they had women. Now, if you're an obviously, if you're an adult now, <laughs> don't go to fucking. <laughs> a high school or some shit to fucking do this shit, obviously. Um, but the location is key. College, if you're in college, that's an ideal location. If you're in college on campus and you're inter intertwined with women and you're, you're passing by women every day, sitting next to women every day, that is the golden opportunity. That is the best place. Well, the second best place to uh, meet a woman. The first best place is at a place where you feel comfortable having sex. For me, when I was a virgin and trying to get pussy, um, the first spot was at my house. It was at houses where I invited a girl to come over to my house or over to a friend's house. And every time we got busy and hooked up because she was at my house. So that's the best place. If you want to have sex with a girl, meet her at your house. If that's where you feel comfortable having sex at. Obviously, 
Uh, if you feel comfortable having sex somewhere else, then you can invite her somewhere else. But you're a virgin. You've never had sex. You probably want or feel comfortable, more comfortable having sex at your place or at a hotel. I don't know your your specific um, circumstances, but wherever you feel comfortable having sex at is where you invite the girl to. Don't invite the girl to go to McDonald's if you're not feeling comfortable having sex with her at McDonald's. If you want to have sex with a girl that you know or met, you invite her to the place where you feel comfortable having sex. All right? That's rule number zero. Rule number one. Don't invest too much time and energy into these women you haven't fucked. So, a lot of times as a virgin, or as someone who is inexperienced with, with women, you may tend to be consumed by one particular girl because she's giving you the time of day. She's texting you back. She's, you know, calling you. You might even see her every now and then. But if she's not giving you the pussy, if you haven't fucked yet, you need to stop. You need to eat, pull the trigger. Ma'am. Meaning, you need to seal the deal. Fuck. You need to invite her to a place where you feel comfortable fucking and fuck her. Because if, if you're not fucking her and you're spending time, you're spending money, and you're letting her consume you and pull you away from other opportunities, that's fucking you up. That's valuable time. And time is the most precious resource on earth. All right, so that's number rule number one, okay? Don't invest too much time in a woman that you haven't fucked, all right? A lot of women, I'm not saying all women, but a lot of women will string you along, especially if she feels comfortable around you and, you know, she's, um, she probably... If she feels comfortable around you and she's benefiting from being around you, then she will lead you on indefinitely. So you need to make a move and get rejected or accepted by her. All right. Now, I, I'm not going to say I'm not going to put a time frame of, you know, one week or two months. That's at your discretion. The rule is don't invest too much time and energy in women that you have not fucked. Like me, I will spend, you know, a couple days texting, calling, and she'll either come over or she won't. You know, that, and, and that leads to uh, the rule, the next rule, rule number two, which is gauge her compliance. Now, what is compliance? Compliance is when a woman does what you want her to do. She does what you ask her to do. She obeys you. Okay? So, compliance, the reason why compliance is so important is if a woman likes you, she will comply. If she doesn't like you, she most likely will not comply with you. Meaning, if you invite a girl over to your house, if she comes over, that means she complies. If she says, no, I don't want to come over to your house, why don't you take me out to dinner, that's not compliance. That's non-compliance, okay? She doesn't like you enough to come over to your house. So you might go out with her once and try to go ahead and get her back to your place twice and try to get her back to your place, but she's not complying if she's not coming back. So that's why I'm saying you have to gauge the compliance. If they're not compliant, you don't want to spend time on it with them. You don't want to, you don't want to spend too much time with them because they're not compliant. That means they're not attracted to you. 
period. It's like I like giving the 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 two extremes. On one extreme, you have Drake, and on the other extreme, you have Mr. Nobody. Now, if Drake calls up a motherfucking girl, it could be a random girl. Drake could open the phone book and call a random motherfucking girl, and he verifies it as Drake, and he invites her to come out to his house. She's going to be on the next thing motherfucking smoking to Drake's house. Right? She's not going to be like, oh, Drake, why don't you take me out to uh, Ruby Tuesdays first before I come? No. That bitch is going to hop on the motherfucking next plane, bus, taxi, Uber, Lyft over to Drake's motherfucking house with no panties on. That's what she going to do. So that's one end of the spectrum over here. On the other end of the spectrum, you have Joe Dirt. Joe Nobody. All right? Now, Joe Nobody calls somebody up on the phone. Now, I've done this before. And, you know, you talk to a girl. And you try to get her to come over to your house. And she's going to be like, what the fuck? Bye. Click. So you have two extremes or two ends of the spectrum one very compliant one non-compliant you want a girl who motherfucking when you say jump she says how high you don't want a girl who when you say jump she said fuck you and motherfucking <laughs> curses your ass out that's non-compliance So, gauge the compliance. If she's compliant with you, she obeys, she's submissive, then boom, you're good. That's rule number two. All right, rule number three. Know when to lie and when to tell the truth. Now, me... I still have, you know, problems with this, honestly, because I like telling the truth, but the truth, <laughs> some, and the way I put this in my book is you want to lie when the truth is so obvious. So let's say you meet a girl and you say, hey, come over, come over to my house and we can watch movies or we can do homework or some shit. Like, that's a motherfucking lie. You're not inviting her over to motherfucking do homework. You're not inviting her over to help you clean out the fish tank or, or, or fold clothes or whatever. You're inviting her over to fuck. She knows that and you know that. But don't say that. You lie. Hey, come over, watch a movie. Hey, come over and for a cookout. You want to lie when it's obviously a lie. <clears throat> so you say, come over and watch a movie. She'll probably say, we're not going to be having sex, are we? Like, heck no, we're not going to be having sex. Whoa. Whoa, take it easy. Uh, especially uh, as a virgin because it's at, if you're a virgin sex is probably a fucking big we know sex is a big deal to you it's still a big deal to me and I'm far from a fucking virgin but I still like sex and I still get excited when I know I'm about to motherfucking get laid so <clears throat> and sometimes it's hard for me to tell the truth because I might be like Come over to my house, watch a movie. Eggplant, 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 eggplant. <laughs> so, but as a virgin, you want to lie. Just say, yeah, come over and watch a movie and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, that's rule number three. And again, and I talk about this in my book. These women know the game. They know why they're coming over. Don't let these women motherfucking fool you. They know why they're coming over. All right. 
All right, rule number four, have fun. Have fun. Have fun with this. You're only going to be a virgin once. You're only going to be inexperienced once. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. It's life. We've all been there. And right now, <clears throat> maybe you're in uh, college or out of college and, you know, you just never got the chance to get pussy. So now that you're aware of the steps to take to get pussy, have fun. Enjoy it. You're going to get pussy. As long as you follow at least rule number zero, location, 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 you're going to get pussy. All right. So have fun. Uh, enjoy this time because you're only going to be a virgin once. I'm not a virgin. I can't go back to being a virgin. But even if I could go back to be a virgin, I wouldn't motherfucking go back to being a virgin because pussy is so good. Pussy. I'm not going to get into how good pussy is, but boy, I should write a book about how good pussy is. Um, yeah, so uh, have fun. Enjoy it. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy the rejections because you're going to get rejected. Yeah, that, and, and I talk about this in my book as well. You're going to get rejected. Every man's gotten rejected. There's songs about rejection. Even Drake gets rejected. Rappers get rejected. If rappers get rejected, you and I could get rejected. So, um, yeah. So have fun. And if you get a rejection, email me. Shoot me an email. Cubement at gmail.com. I like to hear about it. You know, hell, I, I, I have rejections for... For years and years and years, stories of rejection. I've been rejected every which way. That's part of the game. You can't be a swimmer if you're scared that the water's too cold. That's part of the game. And rule number five. She's probably going to leave you. Now, women file for about 80% of the divorces. Women <laughs> leave most of these relationships. Um, that's just the way it is. Now, that's just the way it is. She's probably going to leave you, all right? And enjoy women while you have them. Enjoy them while you have them there. Enjoy their presence, their beauty, their aroma, their voices, their hair, everything about a woman. Enjoy her while you have her because she's going to leave you. Women will leave you for any, almost any reason under the sun. A woman will leave your ass. If you're too boring, she'll leave you. If uh, if you're not good enough in bed, she'll leave you. Don't make enough money, she'll leave you. Don't take on trips, she'll leave you. Don't take a shopping, she'll leave you for another man. Uh, there's a million damn reasons why she'll leave you. So, and women complain about every goddamn thing. Women complain, complain, complain. The only time that a woman is motherfucking peaceful is when she is competing against another woman that you have or thinks you have. And even then, them women, a lot of women will bitch. So, she's going to leave you unless you motherfucking turn into a motherfucking pushover and some silly putty in their hand. Then they're going to despise you. Then they're going to leave you for that reason there. So, 
women leave you. That's, I mean, there's no, no way around it. You know, a woman will leave you for her ex. A woman will leave you. It's just a million reasons. But rule number five again, <laughs> she's probably going to leave you. If she doesn't leave you and she makes you happy, I'll clap it up for you. You found you a special one. And I hope you do. So there you have it. Six rules. Rule number zero, location, location, location. Rule number one, don't invest too much time. Rule number two, gauge your compliance. Rule number three, know when to lie. Rule number four, have fun. Rule number five, to, just to know that she's probably going to leave you. All right, this is Eddie. Have fun, and I'm out.